Hi everyone, Maureen Sweeney here, and we are in a master plan community in Florida. And um, and what we're looking at here, um, this is the, it's in the Chestnut Creek master plan community. And we are in the smaller association. There's at least seven associations that I've been able to figure out in this, in this uh, master plan community. This map, these <clears throat> are attached homes. Okay, so you can see, if you look look around, they have let's see. Okay, so you have two two properties that are attached by a party wall. Okay, so if you are in a home like this, there's many questions that you will have. These are not condominium and ownership; these are planned unit developments. So the big question is, who's responsible for the roof? Okay, let's say for example that there's leaves falling down, and or a hurricane knocks a tree in to this property, do these guys have to pay for it? I don't know. It would be in the covenant conditions and restrictions. Or is this something that the entire mass, the, the, that the villas, that it's part of their association fee is to maintain the roofs of all the properties in this association? That is something very important that you as a buyer should be aware of. Who's responsible for the maintenance of the exterior. Are you responsible for it? Or is the association responsible for it? That tends to be reflected in the fees that you're gonna pay for your association fees, okay? Cause you're gonna, play, you're gonna pay a master plan, master plan community fee. So one for the giant, for the umbrella organization. And then you may pay an additional monthly fee for the association of which you're a member. Okay, so pay attention to those fees and pay attention to what those fees cover. Okay, because let's say this guy is um, really does really well with maintaining their property and they take great pride in ownership. And this guy here left it to his, um, you know, crazy kid who has like, you know, frat parties every weekend and is just full of, you know, crazy kids like doing, you know, whatever the kids do these days, but they make a lot of noise, they're up all night long, and they're partying like it's 1999, that could be an issue for these guys here, okay? Especially if they're right next door, and so they, they, there may be rules to um, maintain a good quality of living for everybody involved, okay? So keep that in mind. Read the covenants, conditions, and restrictions. I beg of you. Have a great day. Bye.